Nicole Steinke. I am one of Anina's fellow one of Chem 102 TAs, and so for our students, we like to go above and beyond. We <laughs> made this mock exam because they're under a lot of pressure, and we like to relieve that. So their exam is Tuesday, so we give them this. Um, they take it for an hour, and we review for an hour, and then they can find out their strengths and weaknesses. So you need 36 valence electrons in your whole molecule. So if we draw out krypton chloride and fill in all the valence electrons, we find that we have four that we need to put, put on. So krypton is going to expand its octet, and then this is what our final structure would look like. So you can see that this would be a nonpolar molecule because they'd all be pulling in the same way. Whereas if you, if you look at HCl, there's a dipole there because there's nothing to cancel it out, so this would be your right answer. 